Haji, you have zero game, bro. Switch it up. Be like, have you ever seen strawberry? Hey, have you ever heard of strawberry shortcake? Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It tastes just as good as my kisses. <laughs> Be cool, bro. Be cool, bro. Be cool, bro. Just nod your head like that. Exactly. Just nod your, just nod your head. This dude don't have no rhythm. What? Good job. Welcome back. Hey. Bro could not just sit there and nod his head to the fantastic Spike Chunsaw beat. I'm like... Welcome. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of that dang and rumpa too. Goodbye, despair. Let's get right into it because I want to ride this dog on roller coaster. Let's see what's up inside this. Chiaki, tell me, talk to me. Mm. I'm not really on board with this idea, but well, if everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. You better not die on this roller coaster. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. No, stay alive. We need you more than anybody. I don't even want to talk to y'all. I wanted to talk to this one person. Bad. This is definitely a trap. Is it really okay if we jump in without even preparing? The only thing we can do is go, right? It's definitely something past that point. <laughs> you know, you know he cussed underneath his, his breath. Like you said. You don't have time to just stand around and stare. All right. Yeah! That train, huh? I don't think it'll be as fun as the roller coaster. Huh. Oh, the train, not the roller coaster. I wanted to. We already rode the roller coaster. That and that mess was lit. Nekamaro, are you good back there? Well, I guess whatever we find in the funhouse will be worth it. You're feeling the excitement of this attraction, aren't you? Gundam, what's up? Okay, I guess we're done talking. I just need to get on this train, right? I really just misclicked. No way! How do you just go from the from IRL to to 2D? I don't get it. Well, there's really no need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey. I'm gonna believe you this time. So you better be telling the truth. All right. All right. Let's go. All right, let's go. Turn off that sad music. I mean, the happy music. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse. Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory. Before you guide me on this, uh, whatever, look who Haji is sitting next to. Finally, but why is he acting nervous? Like, scoot closer. They're both on the, on the opposite side edge of the seat. Scoot closer towards the middle. Look at how Fuya he goes, how he's just swagging in the front. That's how Haji may need to carry his body language, but he don't know how. Yeah, I'm going to teach him. Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. The train just took a leak. All right, so I think we're going to notice something important that has to do with the next death. So I'm going I'm to focus. What the hell? Is this gas? Oh, wow. Damn it. This was definitely a trap. What is this, sleeping gas? As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bot, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our body started to feel, is my mic okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our body started, our bodies, our bodies, our bodies, our bodies started to feel like, like, our body started to feel soft. Like, my, like, hold on, hold on, my mic looks like it's tripping over here right now. Our body started to feel soft, like mollusks. All right, whatever. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a, pu a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. I 
All right. And where are we at now? Strawberry Shortcake House? Ugh. Ugh. When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I'd never been before or had never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where... Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekomar was standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Uh, yeah... Man, I slept good. Oh my! Huh? Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me, one after another. It seems that the others have started to wake up as well. Mm. <sighs> why Why was I sleeping at a place like this? Y you sleep all the time, girl. Don't even start faking like you wasn't knocked out on the train before you started the ride. Good night. Here you go. You Good night. Goodbye. That's obviously wrong. No, don't. You seriously can't, say, can't do that. What did you do to me? I assume that this was the gas is doing. Damn it! That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? I see. In that case, this must be the interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome to the strawberry house! Strawberry house? Isn't this the fun house? Yep. Of course it's the fun house! Strawberry House is a part of the Fun House. A part, you say? Allow me to explain. Ta -da! This is Strawberry House in its entirety. This look a little bit like Hope Speak Academy from the first game. Two, the second floor looked like the dorms. The first floor looked like the cafeteria with the bathroom and the laundry room. The third floor looked like the gymnasium, bitch. This is Strawberry House in its entirety. You are currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. Never mind. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like BOOM! The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. The standard room may have so-so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of the strawberry house on this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. That's all like BOOM! You can enter the Final Dead Room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. On the same floor, there's a hallway called the Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a BOOM BOOM! It's called Strawberry Tower! Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like! All right, cool. Hmm. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all from me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey. Hell yeah, we have questions. Obviously. What's this? Really, really? What's your question, really? What do you to bring us to a place like this. What are you planning to do to make us do? What are you planning to make us do this time? That's right. That's right. I have a lot of questions. But well, let's start with that one first. Hmm? Uh, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Oh gosh. Yeah! An escape game. Is is escape game? In other words, the concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Like Hope Speak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. I knew it had something to do with the first game. Hey, um. 
There's only one way to get out of this closed space building. When the killing begins! <laughs> I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. No! Let the escape game begin! I'm not gonna lie, my Monokuma voice, if they ever make a live action trailer, yo, Spike, 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 put in a good word, bro. I'm sorry I've been trashing your games throughout the years, but at the same time, it's only jokes, bro. These games are fantastic, bro. Last chapter three trial of Danganronpa goodbye despair ass water. But at the same time, the rest of this has been heat. So put in a good word when y'all start making a, a you know. <laughs> I'm like, huh? What? What the fuck? Damn it! We 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 can't get out of here till the next killing happens. This is troubling. I knew this was a trap, but. I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me! If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas! Mm. I let my guard down and ended up falling asleep. Hey! That's what I was just about to ask. Like, why would gas even work on a robot? It's supposed to be when you make your move! <laughs> gas shouldn't pose a problem, but... If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? I'm trying to go sleep mode on that on the chest. You know what I'm saying? That look like some good rest. Oh. That's right. It, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep. Even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. I feel like that's either going to make him a suspect for the killer or might be a reason he dies. W what's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you? It puts my other functions to sleep even if I have insomnia. Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? <laughs> in order to awaken from my sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch! Jeez. Damn it. He's not even listening. How pitiful. He probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such is the sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um. Anyway, Mekamaru must have lost consciousness because this button was pressed. Damn it! What a blunder. You must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. <laughs> Bloop. Like, do we know what that sound means, bro? Hey, hey. <laughs> for now, why don't we look for the exit? But... Exit? Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this place, then there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! <laughs> Look at him shaking around. A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand! Then, let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got! Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. I choose Chiaki! Damn right! Then Akane, you come with me. Huh? Oh? That's an unusual combo. No, it's not really. When you think about it, Fuyuhiko uh, serves well with some with a woman who is a protector as a Kane bro as a Kane all up and through bro. could this guy be trying huh? to get in that pee all right it's nothing like that idiot it's just something I want to talk to her about uh, I don't mind whatever's fine well wow <laughs> when you two stand right next to each other there's a noticeable height difference bastard just drop it bastard you. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. Alright, then we'll go on ahead first. 
With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia! Well, Miss Sonia, <laughs> I guess it's time we also... However... Sonia already left with Gundam. Oh my! <laughs> yo, Kaizuchi, you gotta... Yo, yo, like, game is just absent-minded, bro. You see, every other man in this in this game is making moves, not talking about it. Actions speak louder than words. Go ahead. Next time, bro, you got it. <laughs> Aw, you got dumped. <laughs> of course not. It, it, Nagito kind of roasting right now, ain't he? It, idiots, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true now then i think it's time for me to get going too so hey what the fuck huh yep haji step in for now what huh <laughs> Why? Hey, hey, hey! What? What do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch, but... Maybe Kaizuchi can't stop thinking about it, you know? The possibility that you're the traitor. Uh, I was just I I just said what Kaizuchi was feeling. I mean, Is it Kaizuchi or Kazuichi? I think it's Kazuichi. Well, you know, th the truth is we don't know anything about you. So it's not my fault if I don't trust you. W what does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? I'm the reason a lot of y'all are alive. I saved your life. I saved your lives one, two, three times now. Obviously wrong. Like that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just like how we don't know anything about Makan. The real me? Huh? And the only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house. Right? Are, are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right. It's not that far fetched, you know? Uh, I'm sorry, Haji. I really do want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either. But you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Do you niggas still have despair disease or what? Damn it. Why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with this, Kazuichi? Mm. Uh, but... It's fine, Chiaki. Just go. You see, Chiaki is a real rider. That's a real woman on my arm because she knows she can trust me more than anybody in here. She don't want to go with neither of them two clown balls. But for the sake of... For the, for the sake of keeping the peace and hope, just go along with them. It's fine. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. And see, right here I am twiddling my dumbs with Boo Boo Man Nekamaru. Huh? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. <laughs> We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> My apologies. Well then, Hajime. <laughs> Splash. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Stinking here. <clears throat> let's magnif let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, 
It seriously sucks. All right. First thing I noticed is this big ass slide. What's going on here? Monokuma said that this open area is apparently an indoor park. As expected of Strawberry House, the playground equipment scattered about has a strawberry theme. Of course, I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyway. Got a little monitor here. Yep, 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 yep. If the Future Foundation is behind this, the fact that Monokuma uses this screen means he's their ally. Monomi, Monokuma, the Future Foundation. They're all their enemies. Why is Monomi acting like she's not, though? There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the garden. It looks like they're sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. All right, Nakamaru, let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna push R. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. Oh? Mm. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then, it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, Hajime, let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain drinking eyeballs? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. I mean, this dude, this dude offer you a delicious beverage and you're going to sit up here and shit on him low-key. Huh? I've been found? You was hiding? That was the hiding spot? Okay, sure. Let's think about this. Okay, so this is to the park. Ah, okay, so that's how you get to the park. Um, Nekamaru. Oh, and this is the third floor. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Only thing in the third floor is the park. That's that's cool. According to the map, there should be guest rooms and the lounge on the second floor. Oh. All right, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Yep, got it. Um, actually, I'm going to still do my thing. <laughs> I'm going to still do every bit of searching I can do. And this is the crummy room. There's two of these. Golly. This is where Harry Potter... And uh, Harry Potter's up in a closet. That dude had it horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know, we know, we know. All right. Nothing of interest. I'm gonna just hit a smooth 180 like this. Watch this, y'all. Okay, never mind then. Another crummy room. Designed exactly the same. Anything of interest in here? I'm good. The loud. Oh wow. Okay. I'll be. I'll be there in a minute. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Right? Let me in. <laughs> Who's in there? Whoa. Hey, hey. Hey, what do you want to talk about? Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... Hmm. But when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? Then spit it out. I know what he want to say. Hey. You don't need to act so stubborn, you know. Because I know what you're going through. Huh? So. Only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that. Isn't that right? Like. Hey, what are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. You? Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? So. But like he said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now, but you're much better off because at least he's still alive. And I mean, for me... Sorry. S sorry. Huh? I'll... 
Are you crying? I... Right now... I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell her that anymore. What was her name? I keep wanting to say Celeste, but I know that's the first game. What was her name? Ninja. So... But you're different. So... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so what are you trying to say again? I kind of, you are an airhead. Every time you start talking, you're opening your mouth. I just remind myself why I, why I feel the way I do. But when I look at you, the feeling just changes. It's like biology. I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. Interesting. Now imagine I would have went straight to the lounge with that. Fuyihiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Akane is a moron. How do how you not understand that? Like, this room looked crazy. And of course, nothing of interest. And the other room is going to look exactly the same. I'm not sleeping in here. Um, let's go. Yo, what's good, my niggas? Hmm, so this is a lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now, I should look for things I might be able to use. Let's try the phone. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call someone with this? Call somewhere with this? When I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. What the f***? Whose phone number is this? But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't carelessly touch it. It's probably not that dangerous, Gundam. Aside from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. Who is we calling? Welch's headquarters? But it doesn't work like a normal telephone, and I don't even know where it was connecting to. This, too, must be the will of causality. Bro, who is that up there on the wall? My four dark divas of destruction are investigating the area. But it seems there's nothing of note to report. Listen! Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give up. Matter to your Good. Discretion. All right, thank you. Uh, all right, I should try exploring the first floor I haven't I haven't seen yet. All right, peace out, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, so next floor, let's do it. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third or second floor. That doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Yo, Nakamura, what'd you find, bro? <laughs> this building is peculiar. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. Preventing me from taking a good shit. Here I am thinking you over here, like, like didn't need that bodily function anymore, and you actually are booing out nuts, screws, and bolts. You piss WD-40, and you cry cola. Like, come on, man. What's wrong with you? But like you said, hey, shit, ain't better to, better to be alive than be six feet, right? Looks like this is a bathroom. Move! Bro, watch out. Move! What's up, Chiaki girl? How you doing? What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. 
No, I was just thinking. Why strawberry? Hmm. Mm, why is that? Hmm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too. Or even fruits like peaches and apples. Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Yeah. What was that conversation just now? Haji, you have zero game, bro. Switch it up. Be like, have you ever seen strawberry? Hey, have you ever heard of strawberry shortcake? Have you ever tried strawberry shortcake? It tastes just as good as my kisses. <laughs> I was ugly. All right. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to a quitter like me. Someone like me? I'm terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with everyone like this. Bro. How you, how you like point me as a killer and then act depressed? Like, I don't want to be in the same. What the f. Bro. Wait. Oh, that's the same. Bro. Huh? What? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero, no matter what. Uh. I'm sorry, Hajime. He just scared. He just scared. What is all this? Bro, Halloween? Bro, I'm telling you, the month of October is a weird holiday, bro. Why are we looking at this, bro? This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game. What, what the hell is that? Did you just say I can win? Uh, did you just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. Who the hell is going to do that? Whack! That is so whack. I want to play. Strawberry Hall door. Oh? I see. So this is Strawberry Hall. It seems this place is also filled with strawberries. What a creepy looking hallway. As I recall, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door, right? Oh. According to the map, that's correct. <laughs> However, this order is all wrong! Yeah. It obviously makes more sense to finish investigating the first floor before going on to the other areas. I get it. You don't need to raise your voice so suddenly. It's bad for my heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is that sarcasm toward me for not having no heart? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to let that bring me down. You seriously don't feel down, huh? Whatever. Where else is there to check, though? I talked to you. Oh, 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 duh. Ah, isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to your door. A great image. It's the same as the button on the launch telephone. What will happen if I press this? So without really thinking about it, I tried pressing that button, but it's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but looks like this elevator isn't usable. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma didn't mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the other should be a strawberry tower. 
at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Show some spirit! Let's get going already! Wow. 360 spin. Mm. Mm. There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you just have to push that button that's next to the door. You know, the one that has open written on it? <laughs> I wonder what that means. It, it's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. Huh? Anyway, now I just have to press this button then. Nekamaru raised out his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. So, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle, plus the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. Sheesh! More of these bright red directions! What terrible taste! Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? There's a picture on the floor. It's Usami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. <sighs> Along with the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor illuminating the wall. The lights are all... red. I see. Because of these lights, the walls and interior design of the tower look red. And with the lights, they're able to create the designs on the wall. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Huh? This is such terrible taste. Well, if Monokuma did the decorating, it's a given that this place would have terrible taste. Let me in. A oh, pillar? On both sides of the door in the far back stand two huge pillars. Ah, uh, perhaps... Without thinking, I turn around and check behind me. Just as I thought. There are pillars, or gate posts, on both sides of the door Nekamaru and I entered from. It appears they're standing face to face with the other pair. The door though, the door though. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower. There's a great image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image, doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Oh? Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? If it's a fun house, the telephone probably opens up this door, the elevator door probably opens up something else. Or maybe it makes a phone ring and uh, who knows, who knows. Huh? It's not, it's, it's not a how things look though. Fun houses are always weird, weird. Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door on the far back of Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now. Doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? <laughs> Nekamaru let out his battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. However... Come on, you only thought that was gonna work? What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit! Is it locked? Well, shit. It appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! In that case, I shall use my full power! Whoa! Splash! Whoa! With the fierce roar, Nekamaro put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... <laughs> Here comes... The... In Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. <laughs> that would be bad. So, 
Shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? I see. You have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door would, op would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to the strawberry house and discuss this with everyone. If they listen to what I have to say, that is. Say less, we gone. Strawberry tower with the grape door. Strawberry, hmm. Is it just me or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? What's going on, what's going on, what's going on, what's go- Oh, wow. What y'all got going? Fuyuhiko, what y'all got going, bro? Did you tell Akane what you wanted to say? Damn right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she didn't want to hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. It's whatever. Gundam, how you feeling? You fiend. That was close. Monaco Malicious, Chiaki, how you feeling? Well? Apparently, Monokuma has something to say, but he's not going to tell us until everyone's together. It's probably something terrible again. Mm. Terrible? It'd be much better if it was just terrible. Let's find out. Hiya. Yo! How are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? It's a strange thing to say. Sounds like there are other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey, hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that moves that to think that moves vertically. It's a big mistake to think that moves ver okay. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie! Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right! To Grape House. Huh? Grape House? Hey, um... The Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I, I don't really get it, but... He just wanted to tell us to go to the Grape House this time, right? And that we must ride the elevator, right? Are we screwed? Well, what should we do? Show some spirit! Ha! We just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome this situation is to make a move. I mean... But, but still, you know? <laughs> what? You scared? Of course not! Oh, hell no! Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonya? Fine, I'll fucking go. <laughs> Not scared at all. <laughs> well, I don't have it as bad as Kazu Kazuichi, but I do have a bad feeling about this. But we can't just stand here and do nothing. All right, let's go. When I press the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. Okay, maybe I was wrong then. I was wrong. I'll admit I was wrong. We stepped onto the elevator, and off we went to the grape house. Is this already moving? Hmm. If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? This is probably a really high-performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving. All right, let's open the door and make sure. You must not. You cannot. That is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration-free elevator, eventually, the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. So, this is Grape Street. I mean, <laughs> bro, I was sitting there, bro, as I said that, I'm over here thinking about, uh, oh, gro I'm over here thinking about San Andreas, Grove Street, but I'm like, nah, they're purple. I'm like having this whole ass conversation in my mind, bro, as I'm playing this. That's why I be forgetting shit when important things happen, because I be thinking about San Andreas. Man, that was a great game.
San Andreas playthrough, what's up? No matter where I look, everything is plastered with great patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Okay, welcome to Grape House! Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House! Please be the same design, of course not. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety! So let's start explaining the first floor. Okay, my, my voice, and let me go get some water. Oh, so, so I'm gonna read this one in my regular voice, just cause, yeah, I don't wanna burn myself out too soon. <clears throat> Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than the strawberry house. Just like there's a strawberry hall over there, there's a grape hall on this side. And when you go through grape hall, that means there's a grape tower. The second floor of grape house is the same. I prepare five guest rooms, different types, along with the relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The, Monoc the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Hmm. Now then, this concludes the tour. But I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all from me. Any questions? Like... I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food anyway? Huh? huh? Is that necessary? Hey. Oh, what are you saying? Of course it is! <laughs> but it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? Yahoo! So, I've decided to use your stomachs as the time limit! Don't tell me! What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put... <laughs> it means kill someone before you starve to death! Lies! What the heck? <laughs> if you're planning to kill someone... I recommend you... I HIGHLY recommend you make your kill... As soon as possible. <laughs> It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey! Hold on! What? S starve? Damn it! Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Damn it. Uh, was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! No way! Th that's the one thing I don't want! I don't mind starving as long as I can eat! As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now is not the time for you to panic! Hey. Well, being loud here isn't gonna help us. So for now, we should explore the inside of this building too. Right? After all. If you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuyahiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on! This time around, I really want to pair up with Masonia. Like... You don't act on it! Hmm. Looks like you're being avoided. Not just rejected. Golly. Hey. Kazuichi. I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. Akane. You too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy steps, everyone left to explore the grape house. Then. Now then. Where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Mm. So you're saying you're gonna start with the most suspicious place? No. Alright! Then let's start with Grape Tower! Show some spirit! Let's start with Grape Tower! Anyway, let's find the exit. Damn it. There's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Boom, let's get going. Boom, boom, let's get going. They go to the elevator. Yeah. 
He's just full of boo-boo. The only downside, your optimism is praiseworthy. This man said I still can't shit. Monokuma didn't give him a booty hole. Who is that? <gasps> wow! Who is that Sakura? What is this? Muscular bronze statue. It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the... Ah, oh, there's a name written on it. Hmm. Ogre. That is so disrespectful, bro. Does that mean it's a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? It's starting to get pumped up. Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. What's that mean? Why? But why is there a statue like that in a place like this? I'm gonna do it! Wait, is this creature inside this building? I don't think so. It's probably in the hall just to garnish it. Huh? Garnish? You mean like a food garnish? <laughs> is this food? Is it tasty? It's not food, it's just a decoration. Golly, Akane, you, you weird, bro. Starving us seems like it like starving us like seems pretty straight starving us like seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. What? That piece of shit. How dare he pull such a dirty trick on civilians? Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like a strawberry hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! Hmm, it's not opening. That's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should open. What? Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine. Time for me to break it down. Well, well obviously shouldn't. Hmm. hmm. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekamaru started shouting. I'm not about to join in on this. Oh, wow. The door opened. But... What was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. So this is Grape Tower. Hmm. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. <clears throat> However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. There's a picture on the floor of Usami's face with grapes in her mouth. This feels different from Strawberry Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's truly different... I'm assuming the door? On the grape, on the grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of the Strawberry Tower. Huh? Hmm. So on Strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door. That's even more complicated. <laughs> However, this time, this door might connect to the outside. I see. Bro, they connect to each other, bro, I think. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. Thank you, we just went through this. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? W what did you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Ch Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Kazuichi? It's exhausting to be around those two. S so you ran away? Yo, what? Well? Um, that door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. <gasps> Definitely, you say? It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the fun house's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Yeah! 
Yeah! Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. I love this song. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at the Strawberry Tower, right? See? And on the other hand, Grape House. From the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at the Grape Tower, right? Mm. Now, here comes the main point. With those two buildings... Whoa! This dude is the worst with women, bro. Hey, hey! Hey, Chiaki! Don't go running off on your own! Hey! You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagito. Man. Ah, was that annoying for you? <laughs> Hell yeah, it was! I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. This is troubling. I see. So it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey. Hey, are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut up! Well, yeah! Thanks to you, bastard! Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Well, yeah. There aren't, any, there aren't many areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I found out is I, there's I don't get this at all. There's seriously no food anywhere. This ain't funny at all. Damn it. I, I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? You insolent fool! What are you implying? I, I'm I'm sorry. That was close. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonya. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark divas of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry's house's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there. The four dark divas of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. I am relieved to hear that. Now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh well. I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. Is it fine if Gundam, Fuyahiko, and I represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you this. I won't let you say such nonsense like, nah, I forgot, Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are shit parts in the funhouse. Hey, hey! C could it be? <laughs> Kazuichi, and you lowly humans. Kneel. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. But based on its extremely small size, isn't that... Th that's just a radio controlled toy. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. 
Perhaps it's because nobody has ever brought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! Shut up! I'm not asking about that! You mean the ship part you found was just some radio controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked! I never said a single word about the ship being real! Stupid idiot moron! Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Hmm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. So the ship idea was was pointless, huh? Wow, bro. Hilarious, bro. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. What ha my name? Huh? All right, whatever. Bro. Amazing. This was the very first time I have ever seen a radio control toy. I find it quite fashionable. I was able to hear Gundam's old story as well. So this was quite a wonderful discovery. But it wasn't useful at all. Now then, allow me to give you a brief report. Someone like me? Since I'm the only one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. No good. Which means all. it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard! Just hurry up and say it already. Um. Well, it's about the third floor of the Grape House. See? Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who built their memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't ever need to go in there. Ever. Actually... I also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. A lost child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Don't just hide! Come on out! <laughs> so the lost child was you? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you all would react. <laughs> It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. <laughs> How sad. It's so sad to get used to it. <sighs> she seems a little tense. Um. Did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monomi? <laughs> yes. I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No! I'm expected to be food? Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Is that everybody? <laughs> Huh? Bro. <laughs> she wanna be licked up and down? Man, fast forward. Damn right. And I'm sure the others already know. But let me tell you just in case. The second floor of the Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones on the second floor of the Strawberry House. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. Also a phone in the lounge. However, instead of the grape button, there's a strawberry button. Now then. I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible 
that we can use these two phones to communicate with each other. For sure. So the pictures on the button shows where each phone connects to. The picture on the button shows where each phone connects to. That's probably it. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then it is okay. It, is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. <clears throat> the two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? What? The two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to the mine. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? But... That might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that the strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and the telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't the image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. Um. As well as the opposite, the grape- yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. So... Perhaps... Which means, when you look at the other side of the grape hall door, that we used to come in here. Yep. The great picture should actually be on there. Or should actually be on here. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side. Mm. That might be impossible. Huh? Impossible why? Well, Hajime and Nekamaru were the first ones to enter the Grape Tower, right? <gasps> What's wrong with that? Well? When you two entered the Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Yeah, it did. See? When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly, the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me. Huh? The door automatically closed. Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. Only one can be open at a time, got you. See? If both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? <sighs> Jesus Christ, come on, man. Lord forgive me for using your name in vain, bruh, but still, bruh. Then... The reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you... So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yeah! Like... You don't know? Wait... Um... I got it. Um, right? Okay, so they're gonna leave something behind in the tower, and then if it's still here, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Hold on! Alright, alright, I'm gonna end the video here, bro. I'm gonna end the video. Before I start getting annoyed, no, sir. No, sir. Been playing for an hour and a half. No, sir. I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll come back. Uh, refresh, bro. Because when they start, when they start doing this, when they start doing this whole like, 
extremely long unnecessary explanations i'm like oh my gosh this game is not but before i even get there yo if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like subscribe if you are new turn on that bell so you know when i'm posting more videos love y'all i'm excited to see where this goes just let me get a refresher bro because i'm sitting here like are you are y'all are y'all serious are y'all serious but i still love the storyline and i'm excited i'm excited to see how hunger will cause the first killing I think because Nekamaro cannot eat food or does not need food, he might be a prime victim for death. And he has that automatic sleep button. There's just a lot, a lot of things going wrong for my boy. And he's just way too happy to be dealing with a bunch of these killers. He's going to be a victim, Ruth. I'm sorry, Ruth. Love y'all. See you on the next video. Peace.